And in the course of moving the deities, I believe each man to to per deity I was following. One of them knocked. The curtains were closed. We were behind adjusting the DTs. And one of the persons, somehow or another, inadvertently knocked one of these columns with their elbow. And in as fast as an accident happens in an automobile going 70 miles an hour, everything slowed down into slow motion. And I remember watching this column go out with the speed of lightning. Srila Prabhupada moved all of the paraphernalia with his right hand off the bottom granite step, stepped up with his right foot on the first step, his left foot on the second step, grabbed one column this huge column, the column was at least six to eight inches in diameter, with his right hand and Radharani's hand with his left hand. And I saw on his brow little beads of perspiration, the first time I had ever seen him perspire. And this was such a chivalrous thing that Srila Prabhupada did that I understood what the rasa of chivalry was. And he had that in protecting Radharani. Well, that's one, of, one example of Srila Prabhupada exhibiting a very personal rasa with Krishna, actually saving Radharani from disaster and exhibiting superhuman strength and the alacrity of the movement of the mind. It, it couldn't have been faster. 